Hello, welcome to my channel. So I've just spontaneously decided I'll do a day in my life today. I was just thinking about the different things I had to, um, to do today and I realized, well, actually, I have a pack day. I have a shoot this morning. I'm going to pick up some of my prints that's been around in an exhibition throughout this summer, both in London and in Bath. And then I have another private viewing later. And I was like, hmm, well, let's, let me bring you guys along. Come to see what some of these days are like for me because I don't go out often. So this is not like a usual day, but it's a day of me doing really different creative things. And so, yes, I hope you enjoy. <laughs> took a bite forgot to show the final product so basically put a bit of sugar in the oats and then i have peanut butter and apple and i usually have a few minutes before my makeup artist and my client arrives so yeah just watching a quick youtube video while eating hi so my client is here now and usually once the client arrives i'll offer them a drink have a bit of chit chat and then we'll come straight to the room here to look at their outfits so i'm going to show you the outfits she's chosen today really lovely ones and then once we looked at the outfits and decided on which ones some people do bring more than we do and um, i help them decide once that is done we start the hair and makeup and then so while my makeup artist is like you know getting the client glammed up i'm here sort of like cutting away tags that may show in the picture and then just also showing my um, instagram stories and my private facebook group behind the scenes of what's going on so i'll come in here show them like the outfits the client has chosen i'll go to the other set room and um, just have a quick discussion about what makeup look we're going for and yeah so that's how usually my shoot day starts and so i thought i'll just show you a bit of that today as well and then after my shoot of today i just realized that i didn't tell you what i'm doing after my shoot today i'm going to fuji film house house of Fujifilm House of Photography in Covent Garden to pick up one of my prints that has been in several exhibitions. So it started off being in an exhibition in Fujifilm House of Photography in Covent Garden earlier in the summer. And then it traveled to Bath to the Frome Festival. And now it's back at back in Covent Garden, so I have to go and pick it up. And then after that, I've also been invited for a private viewing at Somerset House. And so I'll be bringing you along to that um, event as well. Hi. So I've just finished my session today. This client wanted to keep it private, so I'm not able to show any behind the scenes. Usually I have clients who let me take some um, BTS videos, but we don't have that today, that's fine. So now I'm just gonna do some admin, save the images i usually back it up on several places um so i back it up on the cloud i back it up on my hard drive so that way you know <laughs> i have everything saved and then i usually um fill up my yearly sales so i have a spreadsheet with all the clients i have and like the products they order the amount it cost everything it costs to run the session that way i sort of know what my percentage of costs are what my percentage of profit is and i can sort of keep track with my sales for the year as well and so once i've got that down done um usually depending on um, how many images i do send them off to my retoucher to get it retouched but anyway, um, what I'm going to do now, quickly do that. There's good time, so I'm happy about that. I finished quite early today. Um, I want to take some videos um, for reels. I'm going to do that. And then, well, I'm going to get ready first. Then go out, take some videos for reels, and then head out. So, yeah. I'll bring Hello. So, I've had a shower, had my makeup done, gotten dressed. 
So yeah, I'm ready to go out. Um, just gonna start off by taking a few videos and pictures of my outfits for reels and for YouTube videos, and then I'll head off to Fuji Film House of Photography. Yeah, so I think the lighting is better here. Just a quick bit, I'm not like your full-blown makeup person, so usually I'll just go for a black eyeliner, lip gloss, and then yeah, a bit of highlight on the cheek. My top, by the way, is from Kai Collective. <laughs> heading off to Fujifilm House of Photography to pick up my prints. I've just spoken to one of like the assistants here and he's gone to bring my prints which I'll show you. Yes, I've just picked up my um, prints and the monograph and so I'm heading off to Somerset House now. So I'm actually going to be like about 15 minutes early and it's not a type of event I want to be super duper early to so I'm wandering around Covent Garden going to like my old haunts where I used to do my outdoor photo shoots with um, tourists so yeah let's see what has changed since the pandemic
days after i thought i would just come back in and sign off so i got my um picture well my print from which is more than a print i'll show you in a minute um got it from the fujifilm house of photography so this is my work that has been exhibited both at the fujifilm house of photography and at from festival so from festival was in bath yeah my gorgeous image from my um project called ileke the power of a woman and so yeah so i picked this up here and it has the info the info has been stuck to the back so if you're wondering this was printed on a fuji color crystal archive professional paper maxima by digital lab so digital lab actually printed this for the exhibition so yeah so that's what i went to pick up on monday and from from festival they also gave us a monograph for every one of us who was exhibiting um through uk black female photographers and so ooh, where's my image my image is here this is the first time i'm actually being given a monograph from an exhibition i'm part of so that's really cool so people who attended the festival also get a copy of this and i guess they can find out a bit more about us so yeah so that's sort of like what um, i picked up and so i thought i'll also talk briefly about the exhibition i went to view at somerset house so it was a private viewing and i got invited to um go you know see the exhibition at somerset house and um, there were a good number of us there i'm sure you've seen the um, videos i took but when i actually came out an hour later it was really packed so that was cool there was food there was drinks so that's nice um, but in terms of the exhibition itself it was really really good um i think there was a whole lot in there to take all at once because you can imagine it's sort of like exploring and documenting black um, british fashion over the years and there's just a lot and um there was definitely a lot i didn't know about definitely lots of things i was like oh, okay i need to read more up read more about this and that so i think it's a really cool exhibition which i definitely encourage you to go see i think it's actually on now up until next year so good time to do that when you're available but i feel like they tried to put a whole lot together and it's just a lot for one exhibition to have to learn about these different parts of um history because apart from fashion there were like music influences in there there were things about tailoring there was just a whole lot um which i'm actually happy to be exposed to because the whole idea of exhibition is like you know this part of black british culture that is not talked about that is not shown much about and i guess people don't know much about so the whole missing thread this is sort of like spotlighting that so i definitely think going there and definitely have you need a couple of hours at some point i developed a headache so i wasn't there for as long as i would have liked to and so i was just trying to breeze through the rooms to like you know see what they had in the different spaces i love they had like also video installations where you could sit down listen to some stuff um i didn't do much of that again as i said i was having this headache starting to get hungry so i just breezed through as quickly as i could took some pictures and some videos and i think i would definitely love to go back to like on the somerset house read up a bit more about like the influences and the producers and the contributors and read more about like their part the part they've played in um you know the fashion and culture and all of that um so yeah definitely if you're in london if you're traveling down to london at any point up until i can't remember i'll write it on the screen but it's up until next year you're able to view that exhibition at somerset house and so yeah so after i left the exhibition i walked back to tottenham court road went to the bar pianos there i love our pianos got myself a pasta um and prawns with like a white cream sauce was really lovely 
and then I had um, garlic and cheese bread as well and so yeah that was sort of my day so anyway I do hope you've enjoyed watching this spontaneous day in my life it's not a usual day I don't tend to have so many events and outings all on the same day but because I was like you know what I'm gonna be in central London for the exhibition I might as well go and pick up my prints from Fuji um, film house in Fuji Film House, yeah, instead of going another day again, I'm a homebody. I don't want to like travel to the same area on different days. So yeah, I just packed everything together. If you have any questions about anything you saw, you'd like to learn more about how I run my business, my studio, do let me know. Comment down below which part of like, you know, this video you enjoyed the most. And yeah, do share it with it. Any photographers or any creatives who you think might be interested in it. And um, yeah, I'll see you in my next video. Bye.